I absolutely believe I made the right decision leaving Uche in the pods. Um, I think there was just too much that we still needed to figure out as a unit. Um, and I don't think we were just quite ready to get engaged. And um, I also just really wanted to protect my peace and I think I did the right thing. Yes, um, I went up with Uche because I really wanted us to have a face-to-face -face adult conversation about the situation that we were in. And um, I was hopeful. I think, you know, he had kind of led with the idea that we could possibly try to work things out. Um, but I also just wanted to put everything out there on the table and just, you know, try to see if the emotional connection we built in the pods was still salvageable. And, you know, things just kind of fall the way they do. The chips fall where they fall. And I'm okay with how things ended or how things happened between us. Um, I wish Uche the best. We, Uche and I have been in contact. Um, I haven't been in consistent communication with him for over a year now, but I do feel that um, we are at a place of understanding where one another is emotionally and just sort of where our mentalities were at the time of filming and also now. Um, I think, again, we're in the most respectable place that we can be considering everything that occurred. And I know I've taken a lot from this experience. I hope he's taken some lessons from the experience as well. You know, I, I feel like Lydia handled things the best that she could. Um, you know, we're all different. We're all wired very differently. And although I wouldn't have done things the way she did, I think she did things to the best of her ability. Um, I respect her and I wish her and Milton the best in their marriage. I, they seem very happy. So I hope that they continue to have that happiness moving forward. You know, I, I always... I always lead with the fact that I feel like Uche's concerns were valid. Um, I didn't share that in hopes that he would just be like, oh, great, let's continue on and get engaged, you know? I was hoping that me sharing that would open up more dialogue, that we could dive deeper into different topics. Um, and it just didn't go exactly as I planned, because, I mean, we had shared other things in the pods that were much, you know, on the same level as de of depth as an infidelity in your past. And the he received that um, pretty well. So I felt like, okay, maybe this would be something that we could dive deeper on. Um, but yeah, it was interesting to, to find out that he had his own set of baggage as well. I, in the moment, even felt very judged and interrogated by him. And that was always the most hurtful part about that. Um, but he was right to question. He was right to be concerned. I always wanted him and always told him that his feelings were valid in that regard. It was just that tone and that sort of aggressive nature that was a huge turnoff for me. And it was a red flag for me and very concerning, especially knowing what I wanted want and need in a, in a spouse. So yeah, I think that was just an interesting moment for our journey and it was pretty telling for I'm sure him, but also me as well.